Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drives video, and today it's the first part of the 5th anniversary, and it's races 1 to 10. Okay guys, so a nice gentle start to this challenge as per usual. Two 5th anniversary cars are needed to begin with. And then it will go to 3, 4 and then finally 5 for the last 5 races. Um, at rounds 21 to 25. Uh, two and a half k up for grabs for each round. Uh, and then every 5 there is a pack. Um, so we get a, um, a steel pack. No, it's a plastic pack, then a steel pack, then an aluminium pack, and then there's two ceramic packs for rounds 20 and 25. Um, so I decided to leave the first 10 races till today. Um, I've been busy at work, so I've not had a chance to make this video. Uh, but it, like I said, it's a nice, gentle start. Um, so nothing really too strenuous. Nice looking challenge. Uh, I know a lot of people have been complaining about the prizes that are up for grabs. Um, it's nice to ha actually have an array of different prizes ranging from uh, uncommon all the way up to legendary. I feel anyway. Okay, there might not be the best prize cars, but still it's the it's the option to actually win some prize cars that's very nice and of course we are all going to get a free epic as long as we are opening our um giveaway each day there is obviously five rounds um and today was round number two which gave us um, our ceramic and you know you can be lucky from a ceramic i've seen some people really lucky from it um i just got the bog standard super rare uh which you know i'm kind of just expecting but you know as we progress we are going to get you know some some ceramics and uh there is four carbon fibers up for grabs as well <laughs> So it would be nice to maybe find something in one of them carbon fibers. Um, and, and I suppose we'll have to wait and see how hard this challenge is going to be. Whether or not we just need epics or whether it will be legendaries. Um, and what kind of level of difficulty epics and legendaries we are going to need. Whether we're going to need them maxed. Um, one or two fuses. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, now, of course, to enter each round, you are going to need invites. So if you're unsure on how this is going to work, as the events run, you will see that some will be invited. You know, some will have invites and some won't. You need a minimum of five invites to get all the way through. So once you finish this first uh, challenge, once you get all the way to the end of it, you'll get a token that will um, allow you to enter the next one. Um, but you also need the invite also. So you could effectively win 10 invites, but unless you can actually beat the challenge, um, you cannot progress further. Uh, silly as, as it sounds so yeah make sure you're grabbing as many invites as you can and progress through the rounds as far as you can you don't want to end up getting stuck and being unable to progress through the challenge Um, and it carries on all the way. So once you beat the first challenge and you get the token to the second challenge and, of course, the invite, then 
If you can beat the second challenge, you'll get a token, which will allow you to go for the third challenge. And of course, you will then need a second invite to do that as well. If you can't grab all the invites, but you can grab five silver coins, that will at least allow you to exchange it for one invite. Uh, but hoping that you guys can obviously progress and grab the invites as you go. So at round five here, you do get a fifth anniversary plastic. How very nice. Don't forget to claim your free aluminium as well. Um, you know, maybe you'd have thought for the fifth anniversary, they might give us a free ceramic or... God forbid a free carbon fiber, but um, just just nothing. There's been absolutely nothing free, um, considering it's it's made it to its fifth anniversary, and of course it is also three months late as the anniversary was in August. It's now almost the end of November. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, we know that they don't. Um, they don't like to keep things in, in, on target. In top drives, you know, we're probably expected to see Christmas come Easter next year and then Easter in the summer and then any summer events sort of like mid-August again next year. So um, who knows? But I'm hoping that we might have a Christmas event this year. It'd be nice be nice if they gave us something for Christmas. I don't know. Um, it just honestly... Hutch are rubbish at giving out gifts. They just don't like to give anything away for free. It's crazy. I've played many, many games before where they do give you free gifts. All the time. Um, not just for special occasions, you know, you might log in and you got a free gift or whatever. Um, just, yeah, I don't understand it, why they put them so high on a pedestal. Especially with all the trouble that we've had in the last what, three months. You know, token fiasco, server errors... Um, miscommunications, the packs being wrong. You know, how many people open a pack that you were meant to have got a car for a finals and it didn't pay the cars for the finals, it paid something completely random. How many times have you lost a prize car due to the server errors? How gutted have people been that um, you fought all weekend? For a prize car, you've dropped out of the top 10 last minute. Only to find that someone joined with two or three minutes ago, played one or two races and won the prize car. Because that has been happening again. Um, since update 15. Of course, we've not had a tri-series yet as of update 16. Um, not sure what's going to happen with that. Whether or not our first one will be that. Um, that those two tags but I'm not looking forward to any tri-series it's going to be coming with these tags at the moment unfortunately um, update 16 has been another update where I found no legendaries um, obviously world expo world expo was awful for me um, and I won't be repeating uh, the same processes I went through with World Expo as I did um, with Update 16 as I did with World Expo. I just won't be doing it again. I'm just going to play the game for playing it. Um, and of course, we've got Black Friday coming in two days. Hopefully, they might drop them very soon. I don't know. Um, again, just... They don't rush to get deals out for that either. I even believe that the uh, anniversary packs weren't paying the right cars as well. Crazy, crazy, crazy. They just need to get the coding right. 
So anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this challenge. I know that this first part is very easy. Um, I'll get the next 10 races up tomorrow. As I've just not progressed through the challenges of yet because of work. Uh, but 11 to 20 will drop tomorrow. As long as I can get through them. I have no idea how hard they are. Um, I believe people have said they are pretty hard though. But I, I don't know. Um, I've not bothered to look that far ahead. Um, so round 10. This is the final round of this video. It is going to pay you a steel pack. Another exciting free pack. Thank you, Hutch. Guys, if you do like my videos, please do drop a like. Smash that subscribe button and keep following me for more top drive videos. Um, let's smash this challenge together and hopefully you guys can progress all the way through to the legendary. That would be awesome. Um, and I'll be with you the whole way. Um, on 5th anniversary, I have got zero legendaries. Um, and have zero interest in buying packs. So let's see what happens as I progress anyway. Thanks for watching guys, you have a great evening and I will catch you next time for another Top Drive video. Take care, bye bye.